So this is the lovely Carrie-Anne from Lawson West. Um, and tell us a little bit about Lawson West and, and why you're here today at Baby Expo. Lawson West is a firm that's been established now for over 35 years, so we've been around quite a while, so we've got a lot of expertise in lots of areas. Particularly here today to explore avenues of employment law, um, with finding more and more and increasingly at the moment there are lots of uh, lovely ladies out there that are falling victim of sort of discriminatory acts. So employers just find out you're pregnant and think, well, that's it. Perhaps uh, your career days are over, your priorities have changed, and you become a mother, so we don't want you about anymore. And they've become particularly difficult. Since the uh, crisis and the financial situation has gone quite poor for employers, it's a great excuse as well to be difficult to people, and uh, not just to be difficult, you don't have to pay your redundancy, you don't have to do anything, because you tend to walk out because you think, I can't work for these people anymore. So we're here today really to try and educate people, to say that it's not acceptable, it's not fair, you can have a career, you can still be a mum, the two can work naturally together in harmony, um, and employers need educating that you know it's not acceptable to treat women that way. Well, if, if, um, what would you say to, to a mother who, who has, um, or, a, or an expectant mother, what's, you know, if they find themselves unexpectedly in this situation, yeah. um, and it doesn't happen to everybody, but it can happen, um, what, what, what's the first thing you would advise them, them to do? Firstly, you know, I, I don't think that you need to go straight on, straight to a solicitor and start litigation. I think that, you know, you've got to be sensible about it. It's supposed to be an exciting time. I've just found out you're pregnant, particularly if it's your first child, so don't tarnish that. Don't take away the magical moment by wanting to involve yourself in litigation. But equally, you need to be certain that, you know, this treatment is continuing. It's not fair to be treated that way because it does then tarnish the, the development of the pregnancy. So I would try very hard at the beginning to have informal chats where possible. Say you're not happy, you think that, you know, it's not very fair, it's not very nice, you expect to be treated better. Yeah. You've been a loyal employee for however long, and yeah. then all of a sudden, just because you've decided to you know, prioritise your life somewhere, somewhere else and have a family, that you're a no one to them anymore, and that's not fair. So do have a chat to them informally first. Yeah. Then we suggest that you know if you're still not getting anywhere, there's the formal grievances route, so speak to your human resource department, personnel department, management, and formally put it in writing. Everything then at that stage is time to be formal, put it all in writing. When you've explored all those opportunities, you've tried inform, you've tried the formal process, it really is then, I'm afraid, time to contact us and yeah. see what we can do to help. But I think in the interim, you always try and see if you can negotiate and try and rectify it internally yourself first. Litigation is difficult, it's not very nice, because once you've started that process, regrettably, it can become very difficult for the individual. And the stress involved then in terms of your pregnancy you know, you've got to outweigh which one's more important. Um, hopefully, we're here to take away that stress. Yes. So once they've got to that point, we can then try and fight it for them. Um, I quite like it when clients walk in. They, they're always quite wound up and tense by it. Yeah. All, and I like to see them go and literally watch the shoulders drop. So yeah. we're here for that. Well, first of all, try and see if we can deal with it. If you can't, then, you know, naturally, the law is there. And the law's there for a reason. And if it's broken, you know, we need to do something about it. Thank you so much. That's great.